sign that I'm doing my thesis on mega events. And on the back of that, ended up getting a, a uni funded um, sort of post grad across to Greece. And I got to live and work over at the International Olympic Academy with like 40 different people from other amazing parts of the world all doing their thesis in similar Olympic related topics. It was like summer camp, but for you know, adults with alcohol um, and, you know, university things to go to instead. This, I think, is probably one of the hardest questions to answer because I think there's two really different ends of the scale in terms of what those highlights and lowlights are. Um, I remember early in my career, I missed a semicolon in a level of assessment table, um, but it meant this development that a, a client was looking at was not code, imp uh, code accessible, it was impact accessible and they actually bought the site based on our advice. Um, thankfully it all turned out okay, we got them their development and everything, but for me that was a, a real panic moment when I realised that I had made a mistake and that it you know, could have really significant impacts to other parties. I think everyone, everyone makes mistakes um, and I think it's really important to be able to pass those on to other people, not just to celebrate the successes, but to, I shouldn't say celebrate the mistakes, but in, in a way to celebrate them and to, to pass on the lessons that you've learned. Um, um, but I think in terms of a, a highlight, it's definitely the other end of the scale to that. Um, in you know, the last couple of months and years, I've been really um, privileged to work on Queen's Wharf um, and more recently been able to step into a bit of a leadership position with that in our town planning team. and to get that confidence boost of people having the confidence in you is an incredible highlight um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to decades to come being able to look at Queen's Wharf when it's finished and know that I played a part in that. I think it's really important to be in a job where you do get satisfaction out of seeing things come to fruition and knowing that you're changing things for the better. I think part of it is the fact that I work in a team. Um, so to me, to be successful, my team needs to be working well um, and the projects that we're working on need to be going well also. Um, so there's definitely a team aspect to that. Um, as many times as it's been said, work-life balance. Um, but I think the best part or best sort of advice that I've had on that side of things is that you can't be everything to everyone. It's okay if I'm leaving the office at a time, it's okay if something has to wait till the next day so I can get home and you know get to my netball match or take my dog for a walk or you know get the grocery shopping done. Um, that balance is is finding time for your own mental health um, and that your work will be better for it um, because of it. And absolutely, sometimes you put in crazy hours and you know we do it for the jobs we love, so that's fine. Um, but other than that, career success is also finding new challenges. Um, so to find yourself out of your depth and to keep swimming. I think it's not necessarily something that needs to change. I think the change is already underway. Um, that they, particularly in the town planning profession, there's an amazing array um, of opportunities available to women and there's a lot of women taking them up and there's a lot of amazing men um, opening doors, opening windows where necessary um, to make that happen as well. So I think whilst it has been a male dominated industry in the past, I think it's great that there is um, such a lot of talk um, happening in recent years about women in leadership. So I'm really excited to see what is ahead, um, but I'd probably recommend for, for women in the industry not to think of it as men and women, that we are professionals and we are all working together, hopefully the same outcome. But if you're working at a firm that you're not being challenged or that you're not being seen to have any opportunities to have that discussion as to, to why um, and understand, because some of it's um, just people not understanding that you might have skills in a certain area so to, to put yourself out there um, and if you're then still not getting any traction with it you know speak with your feet um, there's a lot of great um, you know practitioners in the field who can help um, and there's a lot of great places to work 
it's a small industry for better or for worse, depending on what kind of person you are and what kind of person they are. Um, but you know, the friends that you go through uni with um, are just as likely to be the owner of another firm, they're likely to be a contact in local government. Um, so building rapport with people and you know, genuine connections with people